Hi everyone. Today in this video tutorial, I'm gonna start working on a sensor that is SI7006A20. Uh, proceeding in this video tutorial, I will be overlooking the sensor's features, specifications, working environments, uh, applications, and a lot more. So for that, go to controleverything.com and here search for this sensor. So this sensor is a humidity and temperature sensor. These are its some of its features. It can be purchased from this very site. For today's video tutorial, I'm gonna interface this sensor SI7006A20 with the Raspberry Pi and a Python code. So for that, go to resource tab and here is our Python code sample. Click on this code sample and you can download this from here. You can also download the Python code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now, Let's have a look over the hardware products we require and make some connections for that. Let's have a look over the hardware connections we require. First of all, Raspberry Pi is required, which you are able to see on my screen. Now, this is an I2C shield. It's really important to use this shield as it make connections with other I2C devices very easy. So gently make the connection and place the I2C shield over the GPR pins of our Raspberry Pi. Now, this is our sensor that is SI7006A20 humidity and temperature sensor. This is a connecting cable. Make the connection of the cable and the sensor like this and while making this connection, make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same formula or same fact has to be applied on the sheet. So the connection will look like this. Now to power up our Raspberry Pi, we need a micro USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here. Now this is an Ethernet cable. This is useful in making connections with the internet and gently insert it over the Ethernet jack. In case if you don't have any Ethernet cable or a LAN cable, you can also use a Wi-Fi module just like this. Now we have our connections placed properly. Now let's have a look over the interfacing of our sensor with Raspberry Pi using a Python code. For that, go to github.com and here search for control everything community, which you can see on my screen. Click on it and here type for SI7006 and this is our sensor. This is our required Python code. Let's have a look over the instructions first. We have to download and install SMBus library on our Raspberry Pi and this is the link which will help us to install SMBus. Now this is the command to run the Python code. Please note it down carefully. Get back to the code and here is our Python code with .py extension. We have imported SMBus libraries along with time library and the address of our sensor is 0x40. 0xf5 is relative humidity no hold master mode and we have written here. Now we have read two bytes of relative humidity data with the general read concept and the conversion of the data is according to the data sheet of SI7006A20. This is the humidity part. Now for the temperature calculation we have 0xF3 for temperature no hold master mode and the write command for that is here. We have read two bytes of temperature data using the same general read command. Now the conversion of temperature data is here using the data sheet. Now at the end of our code we have our output data on the screen which is in the form of relative humidity in percentage RH along with temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. So this is how our code looks like and let's see how it works. Coming to the working part of the sensor with the Raspberry Pi and the Python code. So for that copy this entire Python code and go to the terminal here create a new file with .py extension as you can see paste the code and save it now this is the command to run the code and here are our result in the form of relative humidity and temperature now when I press my finger and run the command, there's a change in relative humidity and temperature. Now again doing that, there's a change in relative humidity and temperature again. So this is how our code works. Now let's proceed further. 
We have just seen the working of sensor SI7006A20 which is a humidity and temperature sensor. It's a monolithic CMOS IC integrating humidity and temperature sensor elements and analog to digital converter, signal processing, calibration data and I2C interface. The patented use of industry standard low K polymeric dielectric for sensing humidity enables the construction of low power monolithic CMOS sensors, ICs with low drift and hysteresis and excellent long term stability. The SI7006A20 offers an accurate, low power, factory calibrated digital solution ideal for measuring humidity dew point and temperature in applications ranging from HVAC, thermostats, respiratory therapies and asset tracking industrial consumer platforms. So this is how it works and its features and its applications. The sensor can be purchased from our website controleverything.com and the code is available on the same site. You can also download the code from our GitHub repository that is Control Everything Community. For further queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments on our community page. For more blogs and articles like this you can reach us on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this go to our YouTube channel. In the end you have a very good day and thanks for watching.